Year 2 Works For You Weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Severe weather ongoing across the southeastern United States. The first tornado watch for the southeastern portion of the U.S. this year. You can see severe weather from Birmingham down towards Columbus. As these storms track to the northeast, they have the potential for producing tornadoes. This is the same storm system that brought us the storms yesterday. But this is pretty typical for this early in the year. This is where all the instability is, all the deeper moisture. Here in eastern Oklahoma, we didn't have much moisture to work with, and that limited our severe weather threat yesterday. Looking at a different perspective, we are watching the chance for snow now, moving in Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. I do want to emphasize we'll see a few rays of sunshine tomorrow, so we'll actually see the sun for our Tuesday. Then Tuesday night into Wednesday, a weak disturbance moves on by. Temperatures will be chilly. We'll be in the lower 30s and upper 20s across the area. So as this weak system moves by, it could spit out a few snowflakes in the area to start our Wednesday morning. This will quickly move east. Any accumulations will be very, very minimal across the area. And I'm not really expecting any in the way of any uh, major travel issues for us here in the area. So that's good news. It will quickly move out. Matter of fact, sunshine will begin to reappear by Wednesday afternoon. Now, looking at the future track snowfall totals, you can see it's not that impressive. Very minimal impact on our region, maybe a tenth of an inch in Tahlequah. Can't even roll out maybe a dusting in Tulsa for a brief time frame between about 4 a.m. Wednesday morning to 6 a.m. Wednesday uh, midday, or I should say about 10 a.m. Wednesday midday before it moves out. And then temperatures begin to rebound. Next couple of days, though, we're going to be chilly across the area. Normal high is 49. You can see we're going to be below that through Thursday. Then we jump above normal for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of next week. Unfortunately, we introduced the clouds and chance for rain moving back in on Saturday. Yeah, unfortunately, we're getting these chances for precip on the weekend. You can see that with your weekend forecast. 60 on Saturday, some scattered showers, maybe a rumble or two of thunder. Still not expecting severe weather. Sunday, though, we'll start to see those clouds move out from the morning and then some sunshine by afternoon. Temperatures very mild in the upper 50s. So improving conditions, especially by early next week. Outside right now, Dave's Claim RV Weather Camera Network. We have cloudy skies, chilly conditions right now in Tulsa at 47 degrees. A little bit of a west-northwesterly wind. Today's high, 50 degrees. Not much of a morning low as we start out 46, so not much of a temperature range for your daytime temps today. 40s as we head through the evening, down into lower 30s, upper 20s to start your morning. So a chilly start to our Tuesday, upper 20s. In Tulsa, Bartlesville 28, and Old Mulkey coming in at 29. Officially, Tulsa has not dropped below 20 degrees so far this winter, which is pretty remarkable. I'm talking more about that tonight at 10. It's going to be close to see if we can get that over the next couple of weeks. 42 degrees is going to be our afternoon high for tomorrow, so it will be chilly. Uh, be below normal, except down the Calster, where you'll be a little warmer, around 50 degrees. Wednesday, a chance for snow, basically Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. It'll be brief, and it will get out of here. Some sun appears by Wednesday afternoon, 40, 47 on Thursday, mid-50s for Friday, and there's that chance for rain on Saturday, 60 degrees, with temperatures in the upper 50s. Kind of, mm -hmm. you know, great weather by then to go golfing. Absolutely, Jane. what a segue that is. You're <laughs> a pro, Mike Collier. <laughs>